But to the East Circuit, the only way to turn up your weekend. Of course, you're enjoying the mixes by DJ Lil Russian, but you can still send in your request uh, to white 54 channel or the East Circuit on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Now, in the morning, we had uh, an interesting conversation. We were talking about exes. Now, after you break up, yeah. should you go back for your gifts? That was the question. And uh, there's a long name and a long uh, paragraph following the <laughs> comment on our Facebook uh, page. Um, I'm going to try and attempt to read this. Uh, his name is Omegua Bobagetutu Thomas Ondari. Hmm, okay. Now, Yana uh, Sama is watching from Gekano Nyamira County, Namapenzi, Nampenzi Wake, Emma, Ozawadi. Oh, it's a couple of things. Good. Uh, I like uh, to see it's like it's connecting people. Nice. So him, he's saying, taking back gifts that once you bought for your girlfriend is a sign of immaturity. Kama meachana na yeye. Uh, you need to forget and move on. I think I agree with him. You always. Yeah. I agree you with agree, him. Yeah. Yeah, we'll always side with the boy child. I will take my stuff. You will take your yes, stuff. Yes, I will take my stuff. <laughs> so, sir, boy child. Woman, women and then like like that. To tear, <laughs> you know what to do. What to find for channel or the East Circuit on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. The question is. Uh, would you take back your gifts after breaking up with your girlfriend or boyfriend for that matter? Because she's saying she would take it back. Our first interview uh, is a really talented guy. I mean, can make some waves uh, over the internet because uh, of his new tracks. Like, can I have a few questions for him? Because he's been doing a lot of, a lot of things. He's doing hip-hop, R&B. I know it's like raga raga. I'm talking about moves. Welcome to the East Circuit. Thank you for having me. Uh, so, Mulds, you started music like in the choir. That's that's <laughs> that's interesting for me because I, I was uh, watching your video, sixty minutes. You know, that's a big. Uh, it, it's a big leap. Yeah. Um, well, I'd like to believe that music is not generally um, um, leaning towards religion or mm -hmm. anything. Mm -hmm. Good music is good music. Yeah. You feel me? So. Nikitoa ngoma yenye na sifu mungu ama nitoe you know when I'm singing about women or society yeah at the end of the day good music is good music good music is yeah. still good music yeah. so if i rap if i sing uh. about anything uh. as long as it comes from the heart i believe it's where it's supposed to be tell me how that leap happened first of all because now you you're there in the choir obviously you had the talent yeah. and you had the curiosity for music yeah. because after afterward you went to music production school yeah so it was always within you mm -hmm. but from the choir to now doing secular music yeah tell me about that jump like your first track uh the inspiration behind it well um it wasn't really a leap from gospel to secular for me. Okay. I just felt like I was just moving along uh, a line. Yeah. And there's a lot of parallel lines. I don't like to get them blurred. Mm -hmm. But um, I hung out with a lot of friends who listen to hip hop music. Mm -hmm. And we grew up on hip hop. We grew up on, you know, Kina Isa and all yeah. that. So I felt like I could do something like that. Mm -hmm. Like I felt like. I should toss my hat in the ring and try mm. my, my chance because Nikiskiza gospel, Pia. Mm. Mm. And then when I compare the gospel artists to what they do, or you know, not all of them. Their behavior yeah, with like, regard to their music, I, I think yeah, I understand. I wouldn't there. like to be associated like that because uh. that, that would be hypocrisy. Uh. So Mimi ni nataka ni kwenaile, freedom and bandwidth. To do exactly yeah, what you if want. If I want to sing about God, I will at uh. my own time. Uh. If I want to sing about everything else, I will if at my own time. If you feel inclined yes, to do exactly. it. Yes, exactly. I'm stuck to one side, mm. but behind the scenes, I'm out here running the streets and everything. Uh, can I ask you something, uh, first of all? Like, uh, w when I think about people like Willie Paul Msafi, mm -hmm. uh, you know, he's been under magnifying glass for quite a long time. <laughs> yeah. Because him, he was like a gospel artist. Sitoli and all that, he started out. Yeah. Then now he's like a secular artist. I, I don't really understand. He's calling it love music. Yeah. Uh, it's uh, totally you know, <laughs> I'm trying to, to <laughs> think. Oh, oh, what do you think about that situation? <laughs> uh, is that what you're referring to? Oh, well, um, I, I won't really. I don't really know the man, so I <laughs> think about his craft. Uh. But I'm just saying if if you're standing for something, like mm. if you're standing for that, mm. I believe that you should stick with it mm. instead of giving people mixed ideas. Yeah. That's all I gotta say. 
Ah, oh, interesting. Yeah. So now, okay, music production school. Mm -hmm. It wasn't a leap. It was more of a, you know following the line. Yeah. But tell me about your first track. Um, my first track, like the first track we recorded, I recorded with my homies. Mm -hmm. We mm -hmm. had a laptop mm -hmm. to record Nasimu. Ah, oh, really? Yeah, it was crazy. Uh -huh. So we recorded this track. It's called um, "You Don't Love Me." You don't love me. Yeah. No, okay. no, it was crazy. So uh, why you? Because uh, by the fun fact, uh -huh. uh, like I said at the beginning of the interview, Moves, mm -hmm. uh, aka Hingamuni, uh, is a hip hop artist. He's a rapper and a singer. So he's really talented. So was this, were you singing on your first track or were you rapping? Uh, the first verse was me rapping, then yeah. the hook was me singing. Mm. Then second verse was my homie, he's, he's, uh, he moved. His name is Village Villain, he used, that's his stage name. Village Villain. The Village Villain. Oh, okay. He's crazy lyricist. We did the track, we loved it. So we were like, oh man, so we can actually do this. Mm. We should actually try harder and you know, invest more in equipment so that we can make our sound more professional. And, you know, we moved step by step, and this is where we are now. So you started a studio with yeah. a village villain? Uh, yeah, we, we bought a couple of equipment, we set okay. up a home studio, uh, we tried, and, you know, I guess it worked. Mm. Yeah. Uh, there's a new track, uh, it's not really new, but I saw, uh, uh, I think one of the giants in the hip-hop community right now in Kenya, mm. Calligraph Jones, was bumping to it. Yeah. Uh, how did that feel, to get that recognition and acceptance into the hip-hop community? Um, it felt awesome. It was amazing. I mean, mm. I, I, I never thought that Ningefika place and yeah, you know, Nina appreciate you and I'm to Kali Bakama Jones and everything. Mm. And he, he called me up and he shouted me out and he was like, yo, this is dope. We gotta do something. Is there a collab in the works between uh, you and him? I'll let you know about that. Uh, you gotta tell us. <laughs> I'll let you know. <laughs> You'll be the first person to know, trust me. Okay, we'll be anticipating it <laughs> because right. like I told you, I love it every song that uh, you've, be, you've done so far. But I also enjoy the way you're not sticking to one genre yeah. because you've been doing hip hop, yeah. R&B, yeah. and now your new track. Yeah. Is, is it dancehall, dancehall-ish? It's dancehall-ish. Mm. Yeah, it's R&B dancehall-ish. So when I, when, I, when I say moves, yeah. and someone wants to you know, tag a, ge uh, a genre yeah. to you, yeah. what would you say? I'd say rapper. <laughs> uh, most of my songs have been, there's more rap than singing in my, more rap than singing. In my whatever, yeah, mm. so Ukiendo uh, Uangalie, I've done a couple of mixtapes, I've done like six so far, that's 100 songs plus, mm. and most of them are rapping, there's Zile Sosa Zanyini Meimba. So that's why you're gravitating towards Not mostly. really, because yeah. I've seen that, like my fans like it more when I sing than when I rap, so I'm just uh. going to give them what they want. Uh, but yeah. what do you want? Oh, what's I want what the fans what, what, what are you shaping for us in 2019? Let me just ask that. More good music. More good music. Yeah. Huh? You're evading. He should be a lawyer. Yeah, I know. I can see he's you like snaking a, away from he's the snaking. question. He's <laughs> like, I want to sing, I don't want to sing. Yeah. Mm. Which one is which? Good you music, sing, that's all. It could, it could be rap, it could be singing, as mm. long as it's good. Okay. And so be it. We're going to play the new track from Moves, uh, and I'm going to encourage you to go to his YouTube channel and subscribe because he has, you know, like some really dope music. That's uh, Moons. Or uh, can they search for Hinga Mooney as well? Uh, no, or they no, can no. just find Moons, a Facebook Moon. profile. <laughs> yeah, there is, there is Moons Mooney all across the Moons platforms. Moons Mooney everywhere. Yeah. But before that, I want to talk about the production part because I think mm -hmm. uh, that's an interesting uh, uh, part to, to, you know. Yeah dive into now yeah. with regard to the genres mm -hmm. and the di different uh caliber mm -hmm. of gospel musicians mm -hmm. we have in kenya who would you not work with not work with yes <laughs> well that's a tricky question uh because mm. if, if we're being honest the yeah. more i talk to you the more i understand there's a certain brand yeah. and uh, a certain sound yeah. that you're after mm. And of that course. there are certain people you don't want to be associated with. I wouldn't say not associated with. Yeah. You know, at the end of the day, always a mix oil and magic. Yeah. So, if so who would you not work with? Well, there is still yet to be known. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> because I, I feel like if someone mm. is not mzuri, then why not? I mean, we can work together on anything. Mm. Si jum to yote neto sema, yo, I can't work with this person now. Mm. I'm, I'm not. But it's a part of that particular type of person. Hopefully I won't find one. Mm. Yeah, but everybody out there is 
you know, everybody who is on the limelight and everything, yeah. doing their thing, they're, they're, they're good. And uh, I, is there any plan for expansion? I know uh, Village Villain, uh, you, t you told me he traveled. Yeah, he traveled. So is there like a, a, a partner that you want to partner with and a plan for expansion? Partner that I want to partner with? Yeah, with in terms of like uh, creating that music studio and making uh, it big. Well, I am uh, investing my own money into that. Okay. So all these performances and everything, mm. um, you know, I'm also looking for investors. So if anybody's out there and you want to support a young artist, mm. please do. Mm. But at the end of the day, unajua siwezi support dream yangu na I won't depend on someone else to support mm. my dream. Mm. At the end of the day, I have to work hard for myself. Mm. So, you know, at the end of the day, if anybody wants to help out and feels like this is a just cause, Please, you can chip in. Mm. You know where to find me. <laughs> Moves money everywhere. Moves money everywhere. Yeah. It doesn't make it easier being a producer as well to expand your sound. Yes. The way you've uh, you're, you've done hip hop, R and B, yeah. and now raga. Mm. Uh, does it make it easier? It makes it easier because um, every always go a dope artist mm. without having a dope producer. Mm. When you are your own producer, mm. you know exactly what you need to sound like. You or, know or exactly how what you want to sound. Of sound. Yeah. So, I mean, if I wake up and I feel, mm, that's how I want that song to sound. I go mm. and I just jot down a couple of lines, make the beat, mm. and then it comes out beautiful. You know, me mm. and understand. Mm. Who's I your favorite uh, bitch creator in Kenya right now? Uh, in Kenya? Yeah. Uh, ABH Studios, Brio. Okay. Yeah, he makes dope beats. Um, kuna Alfizo. Alfizo. Mm -hmm. Na, I don't know, I think Rico Beats. Rico Beats. Yeah. I, I knew you'd say Rico Beats. Everybody says Rico Everybody Beats. Everybody says Rico Beats. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, he's dope. He is dope. Yeah. Are you going to work with him in the future? Uh, probably. I have a Rico Beats be beat. Mm -hmm. I want to jump on it. Okay. Yeah. So when I, when I drop it, you know, I hope you let me back here. Mm -hmm. Release it. Uh, this is your home with the guests. That's what I always tell my yeah. guests. <laughs> <laughs> so welcome back anytime. Tell us more about uh, this song before we premiere it. Um, I wrote what to do in 2017, mm -hmm. but I didn't have the funds to do a video. Okay. So we shelved it, and you know it took a while for me to come back to it because the fans were like, "Yo, we need a video for this track," and it was a lot of work had to be put in because I had to find a job so that I could support that whole dream thing because everybody knows like as an artist in Kenya mm. so uh, I found um, okay I didn't find him but I linked up with my friend Jijo Drambits he's in charge of the video he made a really dope video okay so we linked up we brainstormed came up with the concept and executed it and as of January this year, we shot the video and released it. Mm. That's it. So, nearly released last week, Friday. Mm. It, it's awesome. Uh, can't wait for you guys to hear it. As you heard, uh, it moves Mooney everywhere. Uh, that's Mooney with a M U N I. Yes. And Moons is M U double L Z. Z. Yes. So, you can find him everywhere on every social media platform, but especially YouTube. Make sure you subscribe and support this uprising talent. Because you're very talented. Thank you very much. And we wish you nothing but the best. So this is Moon's Morning. Hey, yeah.